Hey guys, I have half a face that's done. Do you want to see what it looks like? I want to change the way how my face looks and especially to a character I may want to cosplay or cosplay or just want to do for no reason other than to challenge myself. No, it's cornflake. Oh lord, it's gonna be in the title anyway. So this is lightning from Final Fantasy whichever that is. I don't remember any Final Fantasy beyond 10 2. I kind of stopped after the team left. Um, but yeah, this is specifically for cosplayers. But there's a lot of non makeup artists in the cosplay community. It's all about the outfit and never about the makeup. Um, I've never seen a cosplayer go deep into makeup. It's always the same makeup they wear every day and then the costume. I feel as a cosplayer, you should be able to do at least an eyeliner and well Kyle Contour is always there and maybe some blushes some lipstick but it seems like the cosplay community means well I guess it's custom play but the custom was makeup as well I do have a button nose um she doesn't have a button nose <laughs> at all um I always want I have hooded eyes. She also has hooded eyes. She has really hooded eyes, so you can see I made my eyes more hooded. And I have very high cheekbones. She has a more rounder face, as you can see, but I did there. If you don't have a contour palette, like me, I never found a contour that actually don't blend into my skin. Like every contour is like one or two shades darker, like it could be the color I am in the summertime. So I had to use black and hopefully maybe you are a little bit lighter than me that you could use a contour that's darker. Maybe one day I'll find it but I haven't found it yet and I hate buying those look, the palettes that go beyond five because then you have like colors that you can't use and I'm like okay what do I do with them? It's not like I could cut it in half and give the other half to my friend. Let's get into the makeup. Let me show you the materials I'm using first. First of all, get a contour palette or something with lights here. It's a lot of I use this a lot. This was from eBay for like eight dollars. Um, just buy anything. The only thing with buying cheap ones is it's very hard to work with compared to well, this is very cheap too because I can never afford the real thing. If I get it free, I would use it, but I can never afford the real thing, so I can't recommend you buy this on eBay because you might have a very bad allergic reaction to it. I'm taking a risk. You don't have to. I'm also using LA Girl. Guess, guess by a uh, powder, a face powder that's um, two, one to two shades lighter than you, so you could blend these things in. She has almond eyes too, but the under eye kind of hangs down. Well, it's on this side, like that. So you have to look straight with your hooded eyes so you know where the line is. And if you can't draw a line, draw dots. So you go straight across. So now you're comfortable. Now you could just follow the lines and it will still be there. Also to look straight down so you can see where your hood hangs, so you could draw on top the hood or put the dots on top of the hood and then draw that in. Doesn't need to be all the way on top of the hood. Um, I mean all the way in, like drawn from there. And it goes straight down over here, like you can see across and then down. You don't even see my original line. It like stops here. I don't think you can see it on the camera. I'll begin. Um so go back in, you had to keep your tip wet. And I'm trying to follow the other side too. This is where it kind of stops. So we're gonna go up to that line. See? Now you have to be kind of perfect with this. Kind of. Um, not too perfect. I'm going to connect the lines now. I haven't did this with the other eye, but... Oh no, I did! Wow. Okay, so I guess I know what I'm doing. This one slanted down more. Because I was following that. 
I could go and fix that on top here. I really should have turned off my heater, but come on, okay. give me a break. I'm trying. Here. This eye is going to look better than this eye because this one I was practicing like hell. Um, just like my other video. This eye always comes better because I practice on the left eye first because it's harder to copy when it's on this side on this side because one, most people are right-handed. So to do all that on this side will be harder. So it's best to make your mistakes perfectly on this side than on this side. Or maybe you could do it opposite, I don't know. Whichever is more comfortable for you. We're going to make this eye, since my eye is like straight across like that, hers like goes up and over. Kind of like the crease. I'm going to put it down here. And now go across. Da -da. And now I'm going to go down just like the crease. Just follow the crease guideline. I'm going to go straight across even though it goes down a little bit. Because my eyes are so compared to hers down, I don't know, what, hung? That sounds even worse. Um, okay. If your tip is not wet, it starts skipping over your eyes. Also, I wish this was up a little bit more. It's kind of even to my other side of my eye, but Kind of not. This is the problem with even eyes. Yep, I'm going to bring this up more. So we're going to change that line later. Actually, I don't even think you need to do that because she has shadows on that side. So you can maybe fill it in with some. Okay, now with all those mistakes there. Here's when your cream comes in. I have a nice tiny brush. Tiny, tiny, tiny brush. No? Yeah. I'm using the latest color on the contour concealer palette. It's a concealer palette, not contour. Maybe that's why it's so stiff. I'm going to go over those lines there. All the mistakes. And the good thing is, there's shadow there on her eye. So it doesn't matter if you see the... Um, Blacks shine through. Make sure you keep looking at your reference picture. Uh, before I set all that on top there, I want to do the bottom part. So I'm going to bring in that same concealer. I forgot to bring some of that black down to make her eyes a little bit more longer. Now with black, I mean not black, that same dark brown I'll show you next to the black or whatever contour shade you have. That's not a contour shade for me but it's the best I have. I don't want to use pure black so I'm using this dark brown and I don't want to mix it because then it becomes muddy. Alright, so we got this brush here, and we're going to put in that same powder I showed you that was going to be my winter color. Let's save that. Let's put some of this concealer on top there. Which is part of the hood. It is going to look like it's coming down, so then it looks like it's poking out. This is the highlight of that hood. It is dry. Oh, was I more? Da, 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 da. Okay, so now I can use that powder that I wanted to use for winter time in. This is an easier way would to have a darker shadow that's not black but brown in a way. But do I have all those materials? And of course I don't. I only have the bare minimum. So you have to work for it. Um, 
Also, this makes your crease look real when you put foundation over and just leaving it stark black. This one looks 10 times better than that one. Good God, I want to erase the other one now. Okay, for the nose. Now, if you have a really good picture, um, one side of the face is going to be shadowed. Like I said, thank God for these 3D renders. I'm going to follow the other side. Boob. It's basically all I needed. I didn't use the liner last time. I'm going to put it... I used a cream. But you can see it already kind of changed my nose shape. Also her nose goes across like that, her shine. How did I get white on me? Like her nose is pointy. Her nose is very pointy. Her hair is always in her face, so I can't go above that. I don't know what's on her forehead or what her forehead shapes like. Yes, the lips I am more like I really want to see what will happen. So, with the lightest color, you follow your lip. So, is your choice to make her cupid's bill huge? or her whatever the middle part long that's up to you but I read it long it makes your lips um, you know more smaller look more smaller than a huge cupid's bow and then we set it and forget it also this is what I do in the real world um, I kinda highlight here we're doing it a little to make it more pouty, which is what I do. And follow your original highlight under here. You're bringing up a little bit more. Sorry about the mirror. Um, this is Beauty Bakery. Oh Lord. Um, surreptitious. Don't you lay down on it. Okay, here's the part I hate because I had to use black to shape my face. Boy, oh boy, but at least you get to see what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm gonna get rid of my cheekbones. If you have round faces, I think it will be easier to do. 
But first, I gotta get rid of this cheekbone I have. And go straight down to get that. Or I could look like a comic book character doing this. I'm gonna use my um, fawn. Her cheeks is like up here. So the line is still there, just more blended. Also, the thing with this line is photography. Going this way won't kind of won't look like the character. Okay, so you maybe could figure out which side looks better with the eyelashes or with not. I don't know. I like both sides, though. Her eyes will be hanging, and this looks like it's more pointing up. This one looks like it's more pointed up. Okay, so just imagine this as the color of her wig um, and the style of her wig. There's, I don't have a wig with bangs, which is weird. I swear I did. Um, does this belong there? It looks better there. There. Da -da -da -da. Kinda looks like her, right? And the best thing with these eyebrows is that you just sleeve it. And it kinda looks like her. <laughs> I don't know if she smiles much or anything. It looks, she looks like a female cloud. It's all emo in a way, but I don't know. Now, um, I do recommend for anyone who's doing this, I say do the eyes and the lips. The nose and doing these side things, especially without a contour color. Um, when you do side photography, you'll see this line and you'll see this line. <coughs> I only did the nose because I kind of wanted to see if I could do the nose. But if you are doing a nose, just do the highlight parts only and don't do the shading. You don't need a small nose. I just want it like you. My nose is so buttonized, <laughs> so I really wanted to change the shape of it because it's too button like. Um, and this makes it more straight. Now, maybe if I had a contour color for this, it would look better, but I don't know. And especially here. It will look more blended in, like my shadow. Who knows? Maybe one day I'll find a contour palette that will actually fit me. And more than two colors of darkness, so I can mix and stuff. Other than that, I think this is a good cosplay. I can't really see because I don't know what the camera sees. Oh, maybe should I come in a little bit more? This is me looking forward. Oh, and the lashes kind of went straight over there like Yadu. Um, you put the lash there, leave it, don't cut it, and then let it lay flat over there. So kind of f follow the line I was doing. It makes the eye look bigger, especially if you highlight under here. It makes the eyes bigger. Okay, so thank you for watching um, this kind of thing. Maybe I'll try another character. I just don't know what, but I know for the future live stream I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do, I almost said Shivaj. That was my Gaia name. Um, Shiva. Uh, from Final Fantasy VIII. So, I'm gonna have a cap on, not a ball cap, but a cap on. And I'm gonna have like extra limbs for the thing, cause she's like bald, but she have these things going over. And I'm gonna body paint myself live. So, Maybe I'll tell you, maybe I won't. I don't know. It depends on how I feel. Some of you already have my my um my Twitch account, so you get to see it. Okay, so I love you. Alright. Okay, I love you. Bye bye.